Welcome back to God with Clinton. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a brief introduction on the new series I'll be starting on this channel. It has been a long time we last met. I'm really sorry for that. I had some power issues in my area. So in this video, it's going to be a simple introduction on the new series we're going to start on this website. I promise you, you're going to really enjoy it. So what I'm going to be starting on this website, and I'm going to show you how to build a CMS website to Django. The CMS, CMS stands for Content Management System. You understand? So, you understand? So, this is the website over here. Just something like medium.com where you can go and create an account and create articles for yourself. That's how this website is. You understand? So, this website is kind of related to medium, but not really medium, but it's kind of works like medium. Understand? So what you have, what you have to do next is listen to create an account first. So you sign up. Once you sign up now, you've been brought down to the sign up form. Okay. So simply sign up now. Make sure your username is unique. If it is not, it's gonna throw an error. So I'm gonna sign up. Just the mass sign up process you know how to do. So put in your password at least eight characters. So at least eight characters. So click on the sign up button okay you can say your account has been created successfully you can see this a lot on the screen so now you can now log in okay put in the username you signed up with and the password so click on login okay now you log into your profile now you can see your profile is kind of empty so you are required to like edit your profile so click on the edit button so edit you can see you've been given this avatar this is a default profile picture for you so you can edit the avatar edit your profile so here's the edit profile form just come in here fill in the form so i'm just gonna put in my name I'm just gonna put in this names here so you can see I have the username already, the email. So I'm, I can change this profile picture if I want. So click, not that. So I can simply browse and change the profile picture to the one I want. So I can simply pick this open. Okay, it has been changed. So my profession, I'm gonna simply say I'm a um, writer. Let me just say. I'm a B2B writer. An SEO marketer. Okay, my biography. I was putting a short bio for myself. You say I'm a writer. Um, I am an SEO writer at Google.com. Google.com. I just put in a short bio. I don't know waste your time. So my location, I simply put Lagos, Nigeria. Okay, I just edited my profile right now. So I just click on update profile. So it's gonna take me. You can see my profile has been kind of updated. You can see it says my profile looks good. Okay, you can see the about me here. You can see my name and what I do. So now you can see I don't have any articles on the page yet. You can just come here to the navigation bar up here. You can see there's a link that says create article. So you can click on it to create your own article. You understand? Click on create article. So now I can see we are on the form to create an article. So I can put in whatever title I like. I will just simply say how to just my title is gonna be how to write compelling blogs okay you can see i also have a rich text editor here i have a rich so you can edit your text really like i'm add the bold the italics the underline the colors you also provided you with a rich text editor so i can browse an image for my article so i'm just gonna check my downloads and my document if i have any beautiful image i don't think i've got one so i'm gonna just pick this open so now you can put you can just write some text here simply just copy some lorem ipsum text oh the connection my internet is kind of bad right now okay just simply say 
uh, I don't know what to, I don't want to waste your time. So I will simply put the tag it falls on. For example, we just put in career and I will simply just say writing. I don't have anything to put there for now. Okay. Don't forget you have a rich text you have a rich text editor whereby you can use to format your text the way you like, beautify it and everything. Stand. So just simply click, click on create. You can see your article was created successfully. You can see now in your profile, you can see the article you just created now is already in your profile. You can edit this article, click on the pen icon, edit the article, put in more text, whatever I want to do. And if you click on cre create or shall be in updates, so you can see post updated successfully. So you understand. So you can come in here, create your own content, do whatever you want to on your own profile, understand? So go back to the own page again. Oh, there's an error, but never, nevertheless. So go back to the own page now. You can see the article we just created. You can see the user, the create, the creator of the article, understand? So I'm going to click on and for each of these blog posts, they all fall under different categories. You can see we have one on relationship, programming, money, career. I click on relationship. You can see all the blog posts under relationship right here. Go back again, click on money. The blog posts under money, they are there. Let's say career. You can see blog posts under career. Oh, yeah. So if I go down to the little page of a particular blog post, just click on any of the blog posts. Can see here's a detailed page of a blog. You can see more of the articles on that, and you can come down here, add comment, and you can see recent blog posts on the side. Understand? So this is just like a medium.com website, and in the future, I'm going to add the follow button where I can follow a particular creator, and you can also like blog posts. You can like them. I'm going to add that in the future. So for now, I'm going to show the pretty simple website with Django. There's going to be a new series on this channel, so I know you should be excited about this. If you've not subscribed, please smash the like red, smash the red button, the subscribe button for me. I really, really appreciate it. And after we've built this finish, I'm going to show you how to deploy this on the internet. We're going to be using AWS and Eroku. I'll show you how to deploy this on the internet. It's going to be really fun. And I also have some pagination on this website. So you come down to the home page, scroll down, you can see now we're on page one. I could click on page two, you're gonna move down to the second page. So click on page two. You can see now we are on page two. You see? So click on page three. This is well paginated and click on page four. You can see page four, you can see everything here, everything well paginated. So that's how this website is, and you can check your profile. Click here, you can see just SP is logged in, check your profile, click on profile. I'll come into your profile and you can perform your activities and even though you can also check other other users profile so for example if i go down to the home page so click here i'm going to check christian's profile by clicking on his name you can say you can check his profile and here are the blogs articles he has made so i just want you guys to anticipate big things are coming after this series more interesting series on the way i promise you that so we'll see you in the next video i really hope you love this introduction the series starts in the next video so we'll see you then bye bye take care